The Primus presents Saudi Arabia's severe water problem. In the years to come, water will become one of the most hard-fought commodities. Global history that revolves around wars, world wars, deforestation, urbanization, carbon emissions, and industrialization has affected our ecosystem immensely. If the world doesn't change its ignorance towards managing water resources, we might get to a point of no return. While discussing the water fiasco, we cannot ignore Middle Eastern countries where mercury is always at its pinnacle. Saudi Arabia is one of those countries which faces major water-relevant issues. So, in today's video, first of all we will be discussing the problem, and then we will move on to the solution they have planned. Saudi Arabia is a country full of oil resources, and oil sales make up the largest part of the country's economy. According to the Qatra website, Saudi Arabia, which has a population of about 33.4 million, is the world's third largest per capita consumer of water, after the United States, whose population is 324.5 million, and Canada, whose population is around 37.2 million. For what good is all of that oil if the masses have no water to drink? In the country, there are only two sources of water the sea, and deep wells. Water has drastically depleted from the sea wells, and some resources claim that these sources might dry out in just around 25 years. The country barely sees any rain, and draining water resources like many factories in the country might be the last nail in the coffin for the country's water situation. The emergency seems invisible in Raida, which is undergoing a construction boom as more buildings creep upwards to join a collection of towering skyscrapers. Unfortunately, there are only 18 countries in the world without any rivers, and Saudi Arabia is one of them. The country is not only among them, but also is the largest one. There are some areas in the country which witness occasional rainfall, and several dams were built for storing rainwater in those bodies. In most parts of the country, there are almost no agricultural opportunities, but the country aspired to become self-sufficient back in the 70s. If you look at the country via satellite, you will see large circular agricultural regions as a result of pivot irrigation. The water for these areas is pumped from deep beneath the surface from the aquifers that were filled up during the Ice Age. These aquifers have enough water to cater to large-scale agricultural opportunities. There are problems with this source of water as well since this water is non-renewable due to lack of rain. The whole idea of turning deserts into agricultural fields was disengaged back in 2008. So, now we have established the problem. Now, let us see what the solution Saudi Arabia has proposed to deal with their forecasted water crisis. The Saudi Arabia National Transformation Plan, also known as Vision 2020, a subset of Vision 2030 initiative, is intended to diversify the kingdom's economy away from oil, while also aiming to reduce the amount of water pulled from underground aquifers for use in agriculture. It seeks to employ 191% of these water resources for farming, down from the current estimate of 416% of water available. This plan involves subsidies intended for agricultural companies, for buying cheap land, and other countries to reduce land water consumption. The overall amount of irrigated farmland still hasn't declined, though as producers switch to more profitable crops that still require large amounts of water, Almari, a major food producer, has begun buying up desert land in the US, on plots near LA and in Arizona, and Argentina, to grow water-rich alfalfa feed its dairy cows. The plan also demanded citizens to cut off their water usage drastically, and it set ambitious targets that include slashing usage by nearly 24% by one year and some 43% by the end of the next decade. The program promotes the importance of water conservation, proposes methods for rationalizing industrial and residential consumption, and educates individuals on the importance of modifying their water usage. Desalination is also among the major techniques used to enhance the levels of water in reservoirs. The process involves the removal of salt from seawater for making it drinkable. Desalination has long remained a weapon for countries that see no rainfall. Saudi Arabia is a world leader when it comes to desalination plants, as now it boasts 31 of them. The water from these plants is used to make up about 50% of the country's water needs. The remaining 50% is still being extracted out of the ground. The problem with desalination is that it comes with huge energy bills. Research claims that the demand for desalinated water increased by 14% every year. Desalination plants also damage the surrounding environment and endanger marine coastal life. A recent development in solar energy has now made desalination energy efficient, and desalination plants that consume solar energy are also in Saudi Arabia. In the end, we would like to say that water conservation is not just a Saudi issue. World Water Day 2019 falls on Friday, March 22nd, and was created to highlight the importance of fresh water 
and to advocate for the sustainable management of freshwater resources. We highly cherish national and international efforts to conserve water because only problem-solving approaches like these can conserve our dweller for generations to come. Do let us know which aspect of the video fascinated you the most in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and smash that thumbs up button. We'll be back with more amazing content in the near future. Until then, peace.